What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, April 6th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, guys, we have a five game NBA slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Trey Jones from the San Antonio Spurs playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the ninth worst defense overall. They give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Trey Jones has averaged 29.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He's projected at 28.8 fantasy points here tonight. But I think he can score 35 fantasy points or more and get you over five times value. He's 6,100 DraftKings salary, 900 more on FanDuel. Trey Jones has averaged 39, 52, and 24 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 33, and 30 minutes. So I like Trey Jones, who scored 31, 24, 26, 40, and 33 fantasy points in his last five games here versus the Portland Trailblazers. But let's just take a look at his last five games in general. His lowest score was a 24, but outside of that, his lowest score was a 29. And that's getting you pretty close to five times value. Then he's got that 40, 50 plus upside that he flashed the last two games. So he's been heating up. So I like Trey Jones here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. Okay, my shooting guard. Well, both of these guys are shooting guard sm uh, slash small forward. So let's take a look at uh, Jonathan Williams. I think he is listed as a small forward here. So let's go ahead and give you the shooting guard, Ache Agabaji. Oh my goodness. So I like Oche Agbaji from the Utah Jazz playing the Oklahoma City Thunder who have the seventh worst defense overall, give up the six most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards, Oche Agbaji has averaged, well, forget about his season average. He's playing a ton of minutes now, or at least last game he did. Uh, and he's gonna get the start with Jordan Clarkson out. Looks like he's gonna get the start here tonight and should play over 30 minutes. So Oche Agbaji has scored 37, 24 and 24 fantasy points in the last three games playing 38 28 and 29 minutes so he's playing a ton of minutes due to this injury to jordan clarkson jordan clarkson he's still out with a hand injury injury so oche ag baji uh, he is 5100 draft king salary 600 more on fanduel Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game. It's a good matchup. And I think a good opportunity here for Oche to score 30 plus fantasy points and get you well over five times value. So I like Oche Agbaji here versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. 
Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So here is another value play. He is also going to get the start here tonight due to injury on the team. So I like... Jonathan Williams from the Portland Trailblazers playing the San Antonio Spurs who have the absolute worst defense overall give up the third most fantasy points to opposing small forwards Jonathan Williams he scored 20 fantasy points last game in 28 minutes and I think he can score 20 fantasy points here again tonight. Get you over five times value. He's 4,000 DraftKings salary. 200 more on FanDuel. So I like Janeth Williams, who's going to be starting here tonight. Should play close to 30 minutes. At only 4,000 DraftKings salary. 200 more on FanDuel. Fantastic matchup. So I like Janeth uh, Jonathan Williams here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Kelly Olenek from the Utah Jazz playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have the seventh worst defense overall, give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Kelly Olenek has averaged 27.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. Now, he's projected at 28.1 fantasy points here tonight, and that would make sense if he was only playing his season average of 28 minutes per game. But Kelly Olenek has scored 43 34 and 24 fantasy points in the last three games playing 35 32 and 30 minutes he's 6900 DraftKings salary 100 more on FanDuel Vegas thinks there's going to be 236.5 points scored in this game Kelly Olenek has scored 36 28 and 30 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Thunder it's a good matchup here, and we hope we can get Kelly Olenek for 32 to 35 minutes. Now, I would say this is a somewhat risky play here. This is a tournament play. My guess he's going to have somewhat low ownership because you could get Jalen Williams from the Oklahoma City Thunder for only $100 more, uh, who looks to be playing more minutes on average per game. And uh, averaging a little bit more fantasy points per game as well. But I think either of these guys, Jalen Williams from the Thunder or Kelly Olenek from the Jazz. I think these guys are good tournament plays here tonight. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. So, uh, let's take a look at the center position. I like DeAndre Ayton from the Phoenix Suns playing the Denver Nuggets who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. They're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing centers. DeAndre Ayton has averaged 35.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. 
He's projected at 35.8 fantasy points here tonight. And that's 5.5 times value. And he's projected at just about what his season average is. So I think he has a great chance at hitting value on DraftKings. He's only 6,500 DraftKings salary. Now he has 1,200 more on FanDuel. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 225 points scored in this game. DeAndre Ayton has scored 38, 34, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 28, 30, and 28 minutes. So I like DeAndre Ayton here versus the Denver Nuggets. Now, other centers you could consider here tonight... Wendell Carter Jr. for only 6,000 DraftKings salary. Scored 44 fantasy points last game. Drew Ebanks from the Portland Trailblazers. Only 5,900 DraftKings salary. Scored 30, 31, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games. Uh, looks like he's dealing with a back injury, but he is likely to take the court. And he has the best possible matchup on paper here versus the San Antonio Spurs. So I also like Drew Ebanks here versus the San Antonio Spurs. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.